guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you. I have the entire new collection, the new shades of the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipsticks, which I love. I've done two videos on these so far. I've done a first impressions video, which I will link up there. And then I've also done a swatch video on the other ones that I had from the collection, the first range. I didn't have all 12 of them, but I did do a swatch video on what I had, and I will link that up there as well. It's so hot today, so if I look like I'm perspiring, I am, but that's okay. Let's just get into this. These are amazing. If you don't know what these are, they're liquid cream lipstick situations. They look like this. I chose a crazy color, but they look like this. They have a really cute little gem at the top. Really nice packaging, a really nice applicator, and I find these pretty easy to apply. There's like a little slant in the applicator that makes it easy to get around the cupid's bow and kind of carve out your lip. And as far as liquid lipsticks go, these are my favorite because they do dry matte, but they don't dry completely so that they're like drying out your lips and flaking off. I like these so much better than the lingerie liquid lipsticks from NYX. Um, these I think are so much better. They're seven dollars a pop which I think is such a good price especially because these are my favorite liquid lips. It never fails. I'm so hot. I have a fan here to turn on for when I really need it. Please stop beeping. Thank you. As I was saying, they're $7 a pop, which I think is a great price in general, but especially because this is my favorite liquid lipstick formula I've ever tried. It lasts pretty good, like, you know, butthole lips like this? It lasts pretty good. Um, it doesn't really wear off. I have a, I've had a lot of other ones that wear off throughout the day if you're eating or drinking. These last a pretty good time. They're not gonna last all night and you will probably need to reapply, but for the most part, they're great. And when you have to reapply them, it's not like super um, patchy or flaky. Like they up reapply pretty well on top of what you already have on. So I have swatched all of these on my lips, but we're gonna talk about them individually and I'll insert the clips of them on my lips so you can see. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So this new release of all these shades, there's nothing really super everyday in here, which I kind of really like. There are a few super crazy colors, and then the rest are really dark, deep, vampy colors that remind me of some of my favorite nail polishes, so I'm kind of really into it. <laughs> and I'm wearing my favorite one right now, so we'll get into that in a minute, but first I'm gonna go through the crazy kind of colors. First one we have is this pink color. This is called Respect the Pink, and it's quite literally a really, really bright pink. I don't like the way I look in pink lipstick, lip glosses, um, and this was no exception. It's a little bit too bright for me. It just was like a little bit too intense. So that one I'm gonna pass on. But it is a really pretty like pale bright Barbie pink if you're into that. Maybe if you have more of a tan because I obviously have zero tan. Next we have the orange which this one is called Foiled Again foiled again. This one I found to be a little bit patchy and I can't decide if I like it on me or not but this one is definitely one of the weaker ones when it comes to the formula. A lot of these are opaque in like one swipe. This one you do need to build up which kind of stinks but also like I said they build up pretty nicely so it's nothing intense. I'm not sure if I'll ever wear it. One of the weaker ones as far as formula goes though. Next one I really like. This is a very bright vibrant blue. This is called Little Denim Dress. Such a cute name. And I really like this one. It applies pretty good actually for being like a really light blue. A little bit thin compared to some of the other ones but it's still pretty good. It's a wacky lipstick color but I think it might be fun for like summer or like 4th of July. I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard time getting rid of this one because I think that I'm gonna want to wear it at some point but when am I ever gonna wear this? I don't know but I like it. <laughs> this one is probably my second favorite. You guys know I love my lavender purple lipsticks. This one is called Run the World. Who runs the world girls who run the world squirrels I like this one much better than the two purple shades they released in the first this one is just more of like a wearable color the formula is one of the best out of this entire range even though it is kind of one of like the lighter crazier shades I mean it's, I guess some people would think this is crazy I think it's very wearable it's not patchy at all you just need one application it was one of my favorite ones out of this whole thing I'm definitely keeping this one this one is my absolute favorite this is called Brooklyn Thorn it's what I have on my lips today it's very gray, brown, purpley, but I think it's very wearable. I think it's very flattering on my pale skin. I, when I saw the swatch of this one in particular, I was like, oh my gosh. Overall, I would say it's like a taupe color, but it pulls a little bit brown, a little bit gray, a little bit purple, which I guess that's what taupe is. But I just think it is so pretty. Oh, definitely my number one favorite as of now out of this new release of colors. This one is interesting. This is called Downtown Beauty. This one literally kind of looks, not even kind of, it looks like poop on my lips. Like it literally looks like a bunch 
bunch of crap smeared all over your lips, but I'm kind of really into it. Like it's definitely a brown that pulls a little bit more green, which is why it kind of looks like poop. I definitely own more flattering browns than this, but I still kind of really like it. I've always loved brown nail polish, so now that brown lipstick is kind of a thing, I'm kind of like, ooh, I like it. <laughs> also, like as you build it, it will get darker, so if you don't like the initial like greenish brown color, you could put on another coat and it would get a little bit darker. Then there's another kind of brownish mauve shade. This is called Club Hopper. This one's really, really pretty as well. Kind of along the same lines as like a purpley brown taupe. You're not really sure what color it is. Definitely more in between purple and brown. It is so pretty. Another one of my favorites from the collection. This one I think is more wearable because it does pull more like pur dark purple than a brown. Kind of feel weird in browns and you want to wear this out on the town. I think you would like this one, but it's super pretty. An amazing formula. Once we're, now we're into like the deep dark colors, all of the formulas are pretty good. Actually, except for this. So we'll do this right now. <laughs> this is called Jet Set and I want to wear this on the 4th of July because it's a bright royal blue. It's amazing. The formula though is just a not as strong as some of the other dark ones, but as you can see, it's a really pretty vibrant royal blue, which I think would be so fun on the 4th of July. My family's gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't care. But this one did take me two coats when I was testing it out to apply it, kind of be even, so I was kind of disappointed in that. Once you get it to where you want it to be, it's a really pretty color, and it stays nicely, which I like about all of these. Along the same lines, we have a purple in that kind of range. This is called Subversive Socialite. Hmm. This one is just quite literally a dark purple. There's three dark purples, which I'm really into because it all reminds me of some of my favorite nail polishes, as I said before. <laughs> I want all of these in nail polishes, let's be real. Um, but it's just a little more of like a bright, not bright, but like a vibrant violet, dark violet color. It's right there. Super pretty. And then the last one that kind of pulls purple, kind of pulls I don't even know. It's called Oh Put It On. Kind of reminds me of my favorite nail polish ever, which is OPI Sapphire in the Snow. So it's kind of like a sapphire color. We can use that. So it kind of looks dark blue, but the undertones are definitely purple. So nice. Like some of these for winter and fall are going to be the jam, which I think is where they release them now. But I mean, hey, whatever. Then we have another dark blue. This is called Foul Mouth. And it's kind of just like a really dark navy and it's kind of really amazing. The formula of these last two are so good. It's really quite literally a navy brown brown a navy blue but like a hint of gray it's amazing it's literally incredible you guys i don't know where i'm gonna wear all this dark lipstick to but i gotta get on it <laughs> and then last but not least one of my favorites probably my top three this is called alien and it's just black which i really like because i wanted this formula of like a liquid lipstick that dries pretty much matte in a black lipstick because the only black lipstick i have now is just one the nyx like normal lipsticks in black so it's creamy and it's nice but i'm afraid it's gonna travel when I wear black lipstick or something dark, I kind of want to know it's on my face and it's not going to move. So I'm so into this. I get a lot of use out of black lipstick. So this is really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's all the way black, maybe just a hint of like light gray in there. But overall, the gist is it's black and it's so nice. So yeah, all, overall, I think this is a weird range of colors to release in summer, but I don't care. I'm going to be wearing them anyway, as you can see, especially that blue on the 4th of July. I'm really excited about that. Should I wear the bright blue on 4th of July or the royal blue? Let me know down below. Or the navy blue. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring all three. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed these. Thank you so much to NYX for sending me these to try out and do this video because I love, for some reason, to do swatch videos with lip products. But here's all the swatches again. I will have all of these linked down below if you're interested. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you very soon. Subscribe right here. Subscribe, subscribe for more videos and more fun and summer fun and stuff. I have some nice summer ideas coming up and I'm excited. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye.